The new early access add-in War Within is the worst thing ever added, making the launch a complete disaster compared to any other expansion in WoW history. The viewer count at the launch was less than 300,000, which is not even half of Dragonflight, which was the least hyped expansion in WoW history in every metric, with almost 2 million less views on its announcement cinematic and less traction on Google search, which we can see through Google Trends. So how did War Within get less than half the viewers on launch? The free day early access. It splits up the entire player base. But you might think, so what? It's a smaller number? What difference can that make? Having your game at the number one spot on Twitch is a, a very powerful marketing tactic which companies pay thousands and thousands of dollars for and Blizzard is usually getting this for free and they're losing all of these free marketing. It shows possible and returning players that the game is actually popular and Blizzard is simply throwing away their most powerful marketing tactic. They're very very large viewers base. The fact that some of the people can also play early will also affect people's experience in this MMO for all the casual players who just play for the story and the quest because if they don't want to pay $40 the entire game story will be spoiled and people will have already done it which destroys the entire purpose of an MMO and people are going for the game at the same time in the first story has been spoiled for them and the community experience of the expansion. And FOMO really goes into this. The reason they have it in the first place is FOMO. People want to be there in in the first days. This might backfire to her because it's FOMO and because people are missing out because they don't want to pay $40 for a couple of early access, they will simply not play the game. Obviously because the added it has a value that people want to be there in the first day. Even if pre-release is very limited, it still has an effect on people because 90% of the player base does not read wow head or watch end of the videos, they see the trailer and decide to play the game. So they don't know it's very limited. And even if they decide to play the game, it's a bad experience for new players because because there's no raiding, there's no mythic plus, there's not even hero. You can only play very very low level delves and normal dungeons. So if you're a new player and think this is the actual game, you will be very disappointed. None of the major gameplay features are in the game. And to be frank, it's so limited, it's not that fun to play. You're only able to do quests, world quests and very 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 easy dungeons. So if you're one of the new players who just saw the trailer, you'll be very disappointed when you get 3 day early access and think this is the actual end game and you'll probably not play the game anymore and it's a very very bad reception. To sum it up, it segregates the player base which destroys the entire purpose of an MMO. It gives a lot less publicity, not even half of Dragonflight which is by every metric a lot less hype than War Within. It has a complete lack of gameplay which is a super bad new player experience. If you don't know what the game is about and this is what you get to, you will be very disappointed. And it is too expensive at 40 euros. Who pays that much for 3 day early access into an extremely limited pre-release. If you want to waste $40, buy two WoW tokens, it's a lot more worth it. Sorry for my sore throat and subscribe so we can get to 1000 subscribers.